Hola, hello. My name is Dan Schustak. I'm from the Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts in the Berkshire Mountains of Western Massachusetts. I want to know how much northern cardinals are moving around the landscape. I'm talking about dispersal. Dispersal is a critically important ecological process, but it can be very challenging to study. Fortunately, thousands of bird banders have been putting those little metal bands on cardinal legs for over 100 years. So I emailed Danny Bystrack at the USGS Bird Banding Lab and I said, hey, I'm interested in cardinal dispersal, especially long distance movement of cardinals. And he wrote back and said, that's really intriguing because cardinals really don't move around very much or very far. Right, cardinals are considered to be pretty stationary birds, but they're not migratory and they're not known to disperse very far at all. But Danny sent me all the cardinal and counter records in the bird banding lab database. This was over 11,600 records that dated back to 1916. I only kept the records that were generated from random encounter events. So specifically, that means encounters that were generated by the public and not by scientists. This left 2,887, nearly 3,000 encounter records. Let's take a look at plot A. Very interestingly, the number of random cardinal encounters really changes over time. It drops off over the last 30 to 40 years. Why is that? It's not because there are proportionally fewer cardinals being banded each year. Might this pattern be because the general public is losing touch with nature? Maybe people are much less likely to find and pick up and examine a dead cardinal and then submit the band report to the bird banding lab. Maybe. Well, let's take a look at plot B. First, I want to point out what's not shown here, indicated with that red arrow on the left. 95% of cardinals stay within 25 kilometers of their initial banding location. So most of them are staying pretty close. Specifically, there are about 5% that move beyond 25 kilometers. That represents more than 5 million cardinals dispersing more than 25 kilometers each year. So that's a good number of cardinals that are actually moving beyond that 25 kilometer range. Let's look at plot D. When we look at the movements of cardinals beyond 25 kilometers, we see that they're really headed in all directions. There's not a, a, a clear pattern to where they're going. I highlighted the five longest cardinal movements here. Some cardinals really do qu go quite far. To wrap up, I want us to remember that the cardinal shows us that even highly sedentary birds can occasionally undergo long distance dispersal events. Further, these events are not actually that unusual because even 5% of the population is moving 25 kilometers and that represents for the cardinal millions of birds each year. Further, even with the invention of new and sophisticated tracking equipment, there's still a lot of value in bird banding records. Thank you.